All right, good morning, everybody. Happy Wednesday. Hopefully, everybody's working for the weekend, towards the weekend, whatever the case may be. Welcome. I am your host and pilot, Uncle B. Today, we are back in the Junkers 52, departing from Sebring Regional here on Runway 1. We're going to take up, a, we're going to hang a left, kind of, and head upward on a heading of 2902. And we're going to intercept this little airport here, Albert Whitehead, Witted. Yeah, Albert Witted. That is said Whitehead. Witted. Uh, little airport there. And then we're going to take a right and just head up. It's not a very long run to our uh, destination today. Uh, we're coming in on runway four. Although it's not show, uh, Something's not right. I don't know. Our, our runway is not anyway we're running coming in on runway four so um yeah apparently it's now gone off but anyway that's our intent for today it should be a very quick flight about an hour probably less uh shouldn't take very long to get there let me get back over here to the uh there we go chat um yeah Pretty straightforward. Not a lot of spills and thrills and chills and whatnot. Uh, <laughs> um, so a couple notes, uh, channel notes. Uh, this Saturday, uh, I think I posted it for but those for those of you who are not in the Discord and don't pay attention to the stuff I post there, which is fine. Um, Saturday, we got two things going on. One, we're going to do the flight in Montana the uh, through the uh, Glacier Park there. Uh, we'll have a takeoff. If anybody wants to join in, they're more than welcome to. We're going to take off out, you know, just south of the Glacier Park area. We're going to come in through a valley. We're going to just kind of take our time. We're going to be in the Kit Fox, slow and slow. A nice scenic flight. You know, if you want to go barreling through there, you're more than welcome to. But we're just going to have a nice little flight through there. And then we'll land uh, up north a little bit. Uh, and then we're going to hop over, I was going to do it in the F-14, but I thought, wait a minute, I haven't really, uh, shown everybody or introduced properly the M-346, uh, the, the new Italian jet trainer that we got from India Fox Echo. Um, so we will do that. We're going to take that, we're going to go over to, uh, Lisbon. That there's a, a military airfield just north of where I want to be uh, for the bridges that we're going to fly under. So we're going to take off. We're going to head south, pass under one bridge, and then we're just going to hang a, a right and head for another bridge. You know, just something fun to do. And then we'll we'll come back around, come back underneath the bridges again, land, and we'll call it a day on Saturday. So. Yeah, do do stick around. Should be a lot of fun. Uh, so yeah. Uh, uh, so we'll wait a few minutes. Wait for people to pop in uh, or whatever. Grab their snacks. Grab their their drinks. Grab their whatever. So if you got any questions or whatever about today's flight, do feel free to ask. It's all good. Next week's flight from continuing in the Euchre's 52, we're going to take off from Sebring or from uh, St. Petersburg, St. Petersburg, Clearwater. We're going to head a little bit north, and then we're going to we're going to cut inland to. Uh, so yeah, we're going to come up this way, and then we're going to cut across to Dothan. We're going to land in Dothan, Alabama, which is in the southern part of Alabama. There's an airport right there that I think can handle the. Uh, Junkers 52, that runway right there. So we're going to fly there, and then on Wednesday, we're going to 
we're going to go from Dothan uh, down to uh, Gulfport, Mississippi. So we have, we'll have all that going on. So that'll be a nice little flight, I think. So we don't skip Mississippi. Or we could, we could actually, we don't have to go there. We can go down to, uh, we can, looks like there's a little, yeah, we can go right here to the Hattiesburg Bobby L. Chain Municipal Airport. Do that. Yeah, we might do that. So anyway. All right. I feel like I'm talking to myself. <laughs> Anyway, all right. Um, I'll wait a few minutes just in case. About five more minutes and we'll, we'll pop in. We're not going to add any fuel to the tanks today. It's not a very far flight. Um, we'll just leave the 50% in there for the, for the flight today. And then, uh, yeah. You know what? Let me no, not reset. I don't know why all of a sudden my runway... All right, now it's there. Okay. Sometimes the things that happen in this sim just defy reasoning. Now, originally, we were going to just go straight to St. Petersburg. We were going to fly right over McDill on our way there. But I thought, no, we, we probably wouldn't be allowed to in real life. We would have to fly either north or south of of McDill. So that's what I, I kind of was like, let me find a way to, to do it that makes a little bit more sense. So that's what we got going on. All right. Uh, about three more minutes and we'll get started. Anybody got any questions, concerns, anything you need explaining as far as what we're doing? If I can explain it, I'll give it my best shot. So the sun should be, yeah, we should have a nice sunrise flight here. It's just amazing sometimes how long it takes. I mean, it's already light here, but according to this, we're still in the dark. I don't, it's always lagging but behind. Oh, quick reminder, uh, it, in early November, let me, I'll give you the exact date. And I'll put a reminder about this in the, in the Discord as we get closer to the time. On November 6th, that's a Sunday, uh, in America we go back an hour on the clock. It's, uh, fall, so we go back, uh, spring forward, fall back, uh, <laughs> So we're we're uh, our times are going to change. So we won't be four hours behind UTC. We'll be five hours and then six hours behind the UK until that part of the world changes their clocks. Um, so we will be five hours behind on on the UTC time, six hours on the on the uh, UK time. So we will adjust accordingly. My time will still be the same. Seven. 7.10 in the morning, but it'll be 12.10 UTC, 13.10 UK uh, after the, so that very next day we'll have a, it'll seem like it'll be, the time will be off, but I'll, I'll try to remember to remind everybody. So, all right, I think we can go ahead and get in here and get the, get the plane set up. Not that it takes much to do since it's already started for us and has everything pretty much ready to go. But we'll uh, do all that. All right. Let's make sure we have. Uh, what am I looking for? 
Oh, we, had, we don't need to add fuel, but we'll just add a little bit of weight to the to the plane for uh, There's that. Good on fuel. Uh, let me see what else. other thing else should be on. Yep, that's on. We don't have to tune into our Vortac. Well, we could, but we, you know what, we will just to be on the safe side. What was it? One, one sixteen and forty. And then what we can also do, because I know we're we're gonna need um, we'll probably need to talk to um, Miami once we're in the air. We'll go ahead and dial in. Miami Center. One three five one three four five five. Do that right over here. There we are. So that should show up on the other. Yep, perfect. Parting to the north, we'll, we'll, we'll announce that here in a moment. I mean, we have to chat. Not that I'm, nobody's wanting to chat, so that's that's it is what it is. <laughs> All right. Um, a few more minutes, and then we'll, we'll get going. Tell you people drive really strange around here sometimes. I don't get it. <laughs> All right. Anyway, um, let's get our picture in while we're while we're sitting here. sunrise here. And look at that. Where else are you going to find scenery like that? Who else is going to give you picturesque morning flights like this, huh? Yeah, I know. Oops.
Yeah, I think we've we got our pictures for the flight. All right, let's go ahead and skedaddle because I don't think it's going to get any better than this right now. Oh. Good morning, Mick. How are you? Three, two, one, I think is our. Uh, so Mick, uh, what time are you thinking about getting started on, um, on uh, the farm, or is that has that been uh, two nine or nine or two is our or two nine or two? Is that uh, been that plan been vacated? Oh, nice. Well, hopefully it wasn't too bad of a visit with the doctor. Hello, Mick. Uh, still on for uh, what time? Uh, just so that I can make sure I'm there with my boots on. <laughs> oh, here you go, Amela. If, if you want my help, I'm, I shouldn't be assuming that you you want me there, but if you want my help, I'm be glad to do it. If not, that's perfectly fine. No, I got it from Papa John's. I was... <sighs> um, yeah, I kind of ate a little... Not super late for me, but... I got kind of wrapped up in doing some other stuff on other games, and then it was just like, all of a sudden, like, I got to eat, and, you know, before it got too late, so I just ordered a... ordered a pizza. So... No, I don't... I've, I've looked at the frozen ones at Walmart, but I've not really ever, like, it didn't really kind of excite me to get one, you know, I guess. <laughs> I didn't feel like I needed to. I don't know.
Uh, so about one to two, um, yeah, okay, I can do that, about between one and two o'clock, yeah, I will be, I'll be boots on, ready to go, <laughs> I, will, I will be standing by to stand by, should you, should you request my presence. <laughs> oh, I should turn off. Let me turn it off now. <laughs> Hate the time. Yeah, I know. I had to think about it. And, and see, it's going to change again, Mick, here in a couple of weeks on the 6th of November our, uh, we'll go back an hour in time so it'll be 5 hours behind UTC 6 hours behind on UK time so if you were starting at 6 uh, <clears throat> I would have to start about noon here <laughs> to join you which is fine I, I mean, unless I'm you know had an appointment or whatever and I couldn't make it and that's a different story, but all right. Sebring is behind us. Nice sunrise flight there. Doesn't get much better than that. You got the moon way up there. But yeah, uh, that's perfectly fine, and I've, <clears throat> I've let other people that I play other games with know that I'm. Uh, yeah, yeah, Mella. Which, I mean, <laughs> I think that's a bit of a waste of Congress's time to pass a law about the time change thing. That, that just doesn't. <laughs> I don't know. I think there's more more pressing things to worry about than, than the daylight savings time thing. But apparently not. <laughs> but anyway. Um. So yeah, that'll happen, and then, uh, but I'll I'll make sure like that Friday before, so six five on the fourth of November, I'll you know remind everybody that that Monday the the time change will be in effect over that weekend and all that. So, um, so yeah, just a other couple of program notes for those of you who missed if you if you're not paying attention in the Discord, sometimes people don't. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, so Saturday we're going to do the flight in Montana along the glaciers there. Nice, relaxing, fun, scenic flight. You know, if you want to join in, more than welcome to. Oh, I forgot to put the route and all that for today's. Not that it's this today's flight's very, very short. So I'm not expecting, you know, if people can pop in and want to catch up, that's perfectly fine. But anyway, so Saturday we're going to do that. Sun, and then after we conclude that flight, and I don't think I don't know how long it'll take, but we'll try to go slow so we sit, kind of take in the scenery and and all that. Then we're gonna hop over into the uh, the new Italian jet trainer aircraft from India Fox Echo. Um, so we're gonna take that out of Lisbon, just north of where the bridges are. We're gonna. There's an air base of uh, uh, that we can. We're gonna depart from. We're gonna head south. We're gonna pass under one bridge, and we're just gonna follow the uh, the line of the city coast there uh, for Lisbon. And then we're gonna go underneath another bridge, and then we're gonna head out a little bit, come back around, come back underneath the bridges again. And then we'll land it and call it a day. I was going to do it in the F-14, but I'm like, you know, we haven't we haven't really flown this one yet, and this might be a good opportunity to, to showcase this little Italian sports car in the air. I think it'll be a lot of fun. So we'll do all that. We'll do the startup and everything and uh, taxi out and skedaddle. So we'll have nice, clear weather. Now, I thought about... Hmm, we... 
we may make it a bit challenging, although you won't really be able to see much. So what we... Oh, I know what we'll do. When we... When we take off, we'll... we'll it'll be sunny. But when we come back, I'm going to make it nighttime. I'm going to see if we can fly... If the bridges are well lit at night, we can fly underneath and just... As a little nighttime fun and... Uh, and all that. So we'll... Uh, yeah, we'll do that. We'll change the time and, and make it nighttime, and hopefully the bridges will all be lit up. I think they should be, but if not, if they don't aren't very well lit and easy to see, then we may not do that. But we'll, we might give that a shot, just to just to make everybody grab their seats even more. <laughs> Oh, they brought it to me. I don't, no, no, no. I don't, I don't never go pick up anything. I just have it delivered. No, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna walk down to the Papa John's and walk back with a pizza. No. <laughs> no. If I had a vehicle and drove, then yes, I would go probably pick up myself, but no, I'm not gonna walk back with a pizza. Fifty-eight nautical miles to our little point and I'm gonna turn and head a little bit north after that. Yeah. I think all that ACC action with Chris last night might have broke Addie's. <laughs> Jesus. Ugh. Surprised he's not here. Yeah, well, who knows with Joseph. He probably didn't get the warning. That's what he'll say. He'll come in right as I'm getting ready to land. He'll be like, oh, sorry, I'm late. <laughs> I didn't get the warning. Oh, I need to throttle back. <laughs> he was, yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, I, I apparently, and I, I was surprised when he said this, and I don't know, he said he had ACC before, but that's a, you know, and Chris was trying to point out, like, this is, you know, like, of course, Addy's like, just get, put the pedal down and go, and Chris is like, no, that's not how this really works in this, in this game, because if you do that, you're gonna wreck, you know, you have to set the car up and everything. So I yeah, I thought it was kind of funny when he was telling Chris just just go faster, just you know. It's like no Addies, there's you know, ACC is a bit more in depth than than GT7 is. You know, you gotta work at setting up your car and, and all that. So. Not everything is about speed. As much as we like it to be. That's not always the, the case. So tomorrow, next leg of uh, Route 66, we should be departing from Joplin and heading to... What's the next leg? Okay, JPLN 2. Oops. Okay, JLN to Tulsa will be tomorrow's flight. I'll put that in the Discord here when we move it later today. 
not a very long leg, uh, 89 nautical miles, but we'll just, we'll, uh, get that knocked out. We might do that in the kit fox, low and slow, just to get a little bit of warm up with that for Saturday's flight there along the, uh, uh, the glacier area of Montana. Anyway. 51 nautical miles. We're just making our way. Probably got a bit of a headwind, I'm guessing. That's okay, we're in no rush. It, it, Chris kept trying to say that, and I don't think Addie's was hearing it. <laughs> it was like he he just did in one ear, not the other. Some good stuff coming up, I think, for the rest of the month. I was supposed to do oh, for Friday, so we're doing the flight uh, from um, Monterey down uh, LAX. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so that should be about an hour or so flight on Friday. Should be a pretty nice flight. Um, yeah, we'll try to adjust. We'll. I'll adjust the time when we spawn in at, uh, at in Monterey there to start up the aircraft. Uh, we're not going to do a pushback because there's no tugs. I did do some research, some more research on the Monterey airport. So there was only one airline that actually flew A320s in and out of um, Monterey, the regional airport there. As it stands now, there's. I don't think they do that anymore. Uh, it's basically the Embraer, uh, you know, um, Express jets. You know, like the Embraers and the CRJs that are, you know, like a regional jet, not a much. You know, like they would probably go up to uh, San Francisco or south to Los Angeles or uh, over to Las Vegas, um, but you know they're. They don't carry a lot of people, you know, but uh, those are the planes that generally fly in and out there now. Maybe a couple of, of uh, regional prop services, but generally it's, yeah. So, but we're gonna fly the A319 out of there. It's a little bit smaller than the A320, but the same systems and everything, you know, nothing's gonna change with that. Um, but we'll we'll get out of there, head head to Los Angeles. We'll land in Los Angeles and call it a day. <clears throat> um, so yeah, I, I've got to move some thing. I've had to move some things around because I I was like, oh, because I could, I see something else and I'm like, oh, I want to try this. You know, we've not done jetliner services in some time, so I figured at least we'll get that one in. You know. Oh, it's all good. Oh, we're losing some altitude there. I didn't want to lose altitude. A little too early for that. 43 nautical miles. So yeah, and then we'll do the... Uh, um, the uh, flight there out of... Uh, we're going to go to Frankfurt to... Uh, airport in Romania that's near Transylvania. 
where the uh, Castle Dracul is. For a little, and then uh, Halloween Day, we'll do the flight from uh, Carter, Long Island, over to uh, Boston Logan. For uh, so that's Amityville to uh, uh, Salem, basically. I think it was already set, but there's on the chance that it wasn't. I should have checked that before we departed. Now, oh, I, I do want to give somebody a shout out here. Correct. If you want to see how the previous iteration of Microsoft Flight Simulator looked, <coughs> now of course that's not on the on the console because we didn't. We, this is the first time that Flight Sim is like a legit Flight Sim is on the console. Go check out Solid Band. Uh, now she plays, uh, she flies on FSX on her laptop. Uh, but it's not, you know, she doesn't have all the bells and whistles on, the bits and bobs, as, as Joe might say. But, um, it's an interesting look at how different the game was, the sim was back in back in the day. So do go give her a follow, check her out, watch one of her videos or whatever. Pretty engaging with the audience. Um, so yeah, definitely, definitely go give her a look. Give her some some follows if you can. Oh, we had five people, and then all of a sudden, two people were like, "Oh no, he's in that crappy German plane again." Oh, oh, jeez, <laughs> he's not in the fighter jet this time. Oh no, I want this prop stuff. This doesn't appeal to me. It sucks. What the sexy fighter jets? Where are the sexy fighter jets at? Hmm. <laughs> sexy for this plane. Too sexy for this plane. So anyway, hopefully everybody's enjoying their Wednesday, middle of the week, hump day. Almost the weekend.
right, so we should be getting closer. 33 nautical miles, and then we're, like I said, we're just going to hang that that turn there. And we'll be almost right at the airport, so. We're only going to be, like, not even 10 nautical miles away from the from our destination. Refresh, I think I'm running, it's lagging behind just a bit. There we go. That's better. And for those of you who do not follow Mick, if you uh, want to watch some farming tonight... FS22. We're gonna be gonna be mowing the lawns and something or other. I don't know. Whatever, whatever Mick says we got to do, that's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna get in there and get it done. We're gonna try to make Farmer Mick some money tonight, because <laughs> you know he needs a new Stetson and a new pair of cowboy boots, <laughs> or maybe a new latte machine. There you go. All three. There we go. He needs all three. We're going to try to make him some money to get all three tonight. So do tune in for that. We're on Twitch. Probably would look a lot better over on the Posh channel, as we like to call Twitch. Because it's not compressed like it is on, on uh, YouTube. So if you want to count the uh, blades of grass or whatever, Twitch is your place to do it. Welcome, Mick. Always glad to give you a shout out. Mm -hmm. There you go. <laughs> he might only be wearing that. You never know. You just either you you can imagine it or you can be disgusted by it. It's your choice. <laughs> one, one. It's one or the other. Whichever one floats your boat. There you go. I look at there. You, yeah, exactly. You know, I I was kidding with Scruffy one time because I, I was in one of his streams watching, and he does. You know, he's got the sock cam underneath his desk there. That he there's a command, and and then he's like, on this foot I have this one, and on this other foot, those are the socks of the day. You know, he always wears something different. I thought, you know, if I ever stream and I have a camera, I'm gonna, I'm just, it's gonna be tie of the day. I'll wear, sometimes I'll wear a really ugly tie. Other times it's just gonna be just kind of a plain boring tie. You just never know. But the great thing is, a lot of that stuff you can go, like, a lot of the socks that he gets, um, somebody hand makes them for him. And, and sends them to him, and then he wears them on the stream. But some of the ugly ties, you could find some of them at like a Goodwill or whatever, just buy a bunch of them, you know, for, for dirt cheap. And, you know, have a bit of fun with it. Oh. That's probably we're getting close to McDill Air Force Base. So. 
All right, so we are coming up to our kind of a waypoint here, not a now point. We don't have, we're not tuned in anything. We're just kind of following a, a path here and uh, making our way towards, uh, what did I say it was? Uh, Albert Witted Airport there, small little, not even a regional airport, but maybe not even an executive airport, but it's a small little airport there. We're just south of McDill Air Force Base, so we steer clear of their shenanigans over there. We don't want to get, who knows, they may have an itchy trigger finger and come up in the F-35 and shoot us down and go like, have a nice day. So anyway, um, so we're going to do that. So we're almost to our destination, really, this morning. Um, not too much longer to go. And then we'll be wrapping things up. And all that, so I do appreciate everybody coming in and hanging out today. Hopefully you enjoy this on the replay tomorrow on YouTube. Try to always put those out at... Uh, noon East Coast time because that's well beyond the 12 the 24 hours required for me to, to uh, put something out on YouTube so yeah if you missed the flight today always watch it tomorrow or you can watch it again later today on Twitch either one or both that's the great thing. It's your choice. Whichever one you prefer. It's all good. I've been re-watching um, Ice Pilots, Northwest Territories again. And, uh, boy. It's always amazing how, how quickly Buffalo Joe would melt down. And then, like, he would have a meltdown, and then, like, the next day or later that day, he'd be like, yeah, okay, I, I could see where, you know... <laughs> Goodness gracious, he is, he is something else. Oh. Hmm. Some, something's not right. Um, but yeah, they, I do like their, their, their big, uh, radial engines and piston engines, the turbo prop of the DC six, I think it was. DC. That's yeah, some amazing scenery. So McDill should be right coming up here. I think that's McDill right there. Oh. That looks like McDill. Okay. Let me take my vitamins real quick.
I'm pretty sure that's going to be a letter force points right there. So our airport is probably where we're supposed to cross over is probably down here somewhere. But we were supposed to be farther south of McDill. So now we're just looking for our should be a little airport. The destination is up over the right, somewhere over that way. Final destination, I should say. Come on, we did not turn back far enough to get stay online. Follow our track correctly. That's okay. We're So that should be pointing towards our our uh, Vortac right there. So we're about 11 nautical miles away from our final destination here. Let's see if they're on the uh, we top zone yet. There it is, right there, number six on the list, but number one in our hearts. <laughs> traffic pattern what we're gonna do I think we're gonna follow we're just gonna go straight here for a little bit and then we're gonna start to slow down and then we'll uh, just make kind of a slow lazy right turn there and we'll come back around and we'll fly in the pattern and we'll wrap things up just to try to squeeze as much as we can out of our time in the air today There's the airport that we were going to fly over right there. I believe that's it. Yeah, that should be it right there.
Almost there, folks. Gonna keep checking the chat here, although once we're in the pattern, I'll, I'm gonna stop because I'm just seeing if Addy's pops in here just as we're getting ready to land. <laughs> Who knows what kind of shenanigans that young man has gotten himself into today. <laughs> fly over this way so we can kind of just see if we can get an eye on our on our one right here okay. so this one right here going this way that's the longer runway ours goes this way so that's our that's our landing spot right there. That's where we're coming in at. Now there was another, there is another runway, although, see the, the funny thing is in the sim, so there is a runway nine that, um, that it was record which is i think the one that goes this way now according to the navigraph charts runway nine and the other end they're closed off like they're not in use anymore so for the sake of argument i i chose not to because it probably wouldn't have given us credit for landing on a closed runway so that's that's a bit of an issue because I'm trying to get 500 different landings. So a lot of that stuff got erased when they took you know they dumped all my hours. 
out. So, so yeah, nine according to to the uh, which runway it said runway nine would be the preferred one based on the wind pattern, but runway nine isn't. Let, let's just see if it's got an X on the runway there. Just out of curiosity. Because it doesn't look like this has been updated at all. Yeah, I don't see any X's on that. So, yeah, this is... If, if in fact, it's closed, and I'm pretty sure the Navigraph chart is probably the most current information. So, hmm. Alright folks, we're almost there. We appreciate everybody coming and hanging out today. Thanks for Mick and Amela being in the chat. Trying to keep things alive. <laughs> Sometimes it's very chatty, other times it's like might as well be a ghost town. You just never know. Just never know. open the window and get some of that fresh Florida air here Gulf Coast breeze whatever We've got a bit of runway. If we need to kind of float a bit and bleed off some speed before we touch down, we can. That's not too much of a problem. We need to drop some more altitude here, that's for sure. Try to come in flat again, which I don't think would be too much of a problem. I think we've got enough clearance over the buildings to uh, come in a little bit flat and set it down nice and easy. Flaps down, so we're set for that. Can I announce my position? We don't have to. All right. This is a towered airport. This is an international airport. <laughs> like a true international, it does have a customs area. So you don't have to go to Orlando or anywhere larger and then fly over here. Well, see, I knew it. Boy, did I call it right.
I hate being right like that. I honestly do. Oh, Joseph, 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 Joseph. Mm. Nope, we're just getting ready to land. You missed the whole... Missed the whole kit and caboodle. Catch up with the chat here in just a moment. That's, Joseph, it's fine. I, you don't have to apologize. It's, it's all good. I said, he's going to come in at the very end as I'm getting ready to land. And sure enough, there you are. <laughs> oh, Addies, Addies. I don't know. Well, there we are. On behalf of myself and the entire flight crew, I'd like to welcome you to St. Petersburg Clearwater International Airport. Local time is 8.20 in the morning. We understand and appreciate the fact that Joseph was trying to sort out his lunch. <laughs> but that's okay. We're glad he showed up here just at the end anyway. Do join us tomorrow, 7.10 Eastern, 11.10 UTC, 12.10 UK.
in the uh, Kit Fox, we're going to do uh, our next leg of the Route 66 flight, Joplin to Tulsa. <laughs> All right. Fuel. Fuel. Well, we do we are kind of low on fuel, but It must have been a monumental decision that he had to make as far as lunch goes. <laughs> What were your options, Joseph? Just out of curiosity, what what was the uh, if you want to say if you're still here? All right, let's get moving. Come on, plane. It better be something fancy, something even Amelo hadn't thought of for lunch. <laughs> it better be some posh stuff there all right so actually so kind of on a different note so we don't pick on joseph too much um that is our vortac right there the one that we were flying that we were tuned into is it's that right there that little building right there this is our navigation aid Make... Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> I don't want to know any more than this. Oh. Anyways. Big line. I didn't want nobody to take my phone. What kind of McDonald's are you going to, Joseph? Good Lord. Maybe you need to pick a different McDonald's. <laughs> you had six. <laughs> All right, Ad. He's like, you know, the more the more you tell this story, the more it's, there's going to be another story besides the mop one that you told years ago. Honestly. Maybe you need to think about a different McDonald's. If you have to be worried about your somebody taking your phone, that's not a good good place to go then. Maybe you get on you call you order ahead and go pick it up. That way you're not waiting in line. Something, but I'm going to go through this little taxiway here and then we can because that would be kind of a tough squeeze around there either that or you're going to have to ask Amilla to come over and be your bodyguard for a little while just to intimidate people and they won't bother you
But I remember when the Walmart near where I live that, that I go to used to be 24 hours. And when I worked at the hospital, I'd you know on a late shift I would stop there to get something on the way home. But there was some very unsavory people work you know, not only working there but shopping there. So I decided I'm like, maybe I don't I need to go beforehand or I can wait till I the next day and you know. Yeah. You know, maybe maybe you gotta come up with a different location or something. But anyway. Oh, well, Mella would have said bye. I mean, probably getting close to going to work. Unless I missed it. He might have said bye. No. Stop. All right. Let's go ahead and cut off the engines. Turn our lights off. Cut the batteries off one and a two. All right, 54 minutes, not too shabby. It said about an hour and 11, but we got there a little bit quicker. We didn't quite follow our plan exactly, but that's okay. That's, there's nothing wrong with that. Sometimes that's just the way it works. Uh, let me just put this in real quick and we will be wrapping things up here shortly. We departed from KSEF. Oops. At eleven nineteen. K Pi at twelve thirteen. Oh, look at that. All right, here we are. All right. Well, that will wrap it up for today, folks. I do appreciate everybody coming in and hanging out. We will be back tomorrow in the uh, Kit Fox, the low and slow or next leg of our flight along Route 66, 710 Eastern, 1110 UTC, 1210 UK. And we'll get that done. And then we will, that shouldn't take very long to do, but we'll try to make it nice and interesting and fun and whatever else. And uh, so there we go. I do appreciate everybody coming in and hanging out today. Do enjoy the rest of your Wednesday morning, afternoon, evening, early Thursday, depending on where you are in the world. Who knows? I have been your host and pilot, Uncle B. I will see you tomorrow. Until then, peace, live long and prosper. <laughs>